Assalamualaikum and hello guys. In this video, we will learn how to interpret mass spectrum. Okay, let's start. This is the figure of mass spectrum of magnesium. As you can see, Y axis consists of relative abundance. Meanwhile, for X axis, it stands for isotopic mass of the element. So, for magnesium, we can see it has three peaks. Okay, the first peak has isotopic mass equal to 24 and has relative abundance equal to 63. Meanwhile, for 25, the relative abundance equal to 8.1 and then 26, the relative abundance equal to 9.1. So, these three peaks show you that magnesium has three isotopes. In order to simplify the information, you can create a table. So, based on the figure, magnesium has three isotopes that are magnesium 24, magnesium 25 and magnesium 26. And then they have isotopic mass and also the relative abundance. Then we also can express relative abundance in terms of percentage abundance. But how? So, in order to convert relative abundance to percentage abundance, this is the first example. 63, the relative abundance for magnesium 24, divides with the sum of relative abundance of magnesium 24, magnesium 25 and magnesium 26 and we multiply it by 100%. Therefore, the relative Sorry, the percentage abundance is 78.6%. And then, from the figure, we also can calculate the average atomic mass from the mass spectrum. Okay, the formula for average atomic mass is the sum of relative abundance or percentage abundance times with isotopic mass of the element over the sum of isotopic mass of the element. Okay? So, this is the symbol Q and also M. And then for question B, percentage abundance. Okay? Percentage abundance. The figure just give you relative abundance. Therefore, you you must convert, you need to convert relative abundance into the percentage abundance. Okay, so this is the solution. Percentage abundance for rubidium 85. The relative abundance of rubidium 85 over the sum of relative abundance for both isotopes. So, you get 72. And also for rubidium 87, okay, you will get 28%. And then for average atomic mass, we use the formula, formula here, and that the formula is isotopic mass, okay, times with the relative abundance over the sum of relative abundance, okay. So here, the so, the solution of how you need to work it, okay, and then the answer is active five point five six amu, okay. So that's all. If you have any question, okay, please don't hesitate to ask your lecturer, okay. And also, please do more exercise in order to enhance your understanding, okay. That's all. I hope you understand, okay. Okay, thank you.